Hey, Vag Skids here. This is my first video. Um, it's pretty much for shits and giggles. I just thought I'd show you guys how to make a Hyperkin uh, SNES GameCube and N64 uh, HDMI cable uh, for less than 20 bucks Australian. Uh, so here we have uh, it's a Super Famicom, it's the Japanese version, uh, native 60 hertz, no messing around. Uh, this is actually for a uh, external RGB and stereo pass-through box. It's like an external RGB amplifier, I should say. Um, we'll cover that in future. So we're not going to be using that. Uh, the stock AV out is still intact, however. So just uh, whack this one together. Okay, so here we have a cheap Chinese it's basically a SCAR to HDMI converter. Now, looking at it, I sort of had my doubts it would convert RGBS to HDMI in a little cheap case that small. Uh, I wasn't wrong. Although the input is SCART, it only accepts the composite through SCART. So, although in saying that, it does a very good job of it, as opposed to, say, this, which takes composite through RCA jacks, they both work, work off a 5 volt USB a supplementary power supply. This this is a piece of shit, it belongs in the bin. Uh, but in saying that also, composite is a piece of shit. So when you take composite and you make it HDMI, it's still going to be shit. You can't add quality to an already bad video output. Anyway, so I was pretty much browsing the internet, looking at retro stuff. Uh, I come across this new Hyperkin cable. It's retailing for like $65, $70. That's pretty damn steep. Uh, I thought, hey, why don't I just cut the SCART connector out of this and cut up a fucking $5 SNES cable, because um, I've got a few of them, and just hook it in there. And I'll have my very own Hyperkin cable for less than 20 bucks. So let's see how it goes. There we have it. So you can see it's it's blurry. That's just what composite's gonna look like on a friggin' 65 inch LCD. You get that. I, I own the hard copy <coughs> of all these games by the way. Right. So we'll just there's a game. Demon's Curse, sounds good. Yeah, that's about it. As you can see, it works perfectly. <laughs> if you want to know how to make your own Hyperkin uh, HDMI to SNES, GameCube, and N64 cable, hit us up. Less than 20 bucks. Fucking soldering iron. Something to cut some wire with. You're good to go. Cheers.